Podcast. What's going on, guys? It's the Film and Everything Podcast. Welcome back for another episode. Um, main things I wanted to just get into right away was the announcement of the Snyder Cut. That was the main thing. I really wanted to talk about that uh, with you guys uh, because it's actually happening. It's a real thing. It's not... Um, and I love it because, you know, all the haters right now don't know what to say. You know, everybody that was saying, oh, it's not real. The Snyder Cut is not real. You guys are just, you know, you're in this la-la land, blah, blah, blah. All the things that everybody on Twitter was saying towards the fans. Um, and Zack Snyder did that Man of Steel stream, uh, Q&A stream yeah. with fans, I believe. And it was really awesome. We actually saw it. We were watching. We didn't see his um, stream with the movie, but we saw, like, maybe the last... 20 minutes or so and we actually got to see the announcement live which was really awesome and henry cavill was in it right and then henry cavill kind of baited him into the oh i feel like you should just show it show it you know and he's like oh well i have this little thing you know and then he you know because it's still a little bit to do but i mean there is there is this i have i have this i don't know if this is helpful. You see that? Oh, oh my god. 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 Wow. It was really it was it was pretty awesome. It was honestly like really cool. And so that was uh, you know all over the internet. Every it broke the internet because man, these fans and I I, I got to say like all these this all these same haters that were saying that it wasn't real now they're going around saying this is not good for fandom because it's going to give toxic fans this entitlement it's going to ruin like hollywood it's going to yeah cuz uh, it's going to ruin fandom it's going to bring this uh toxic uh it's condoning like this toxic uh entitlement in fans or something it like wasn't that wasn't really toxic they're just and that's not that's so stupid this to me is a huge win because I'll tell you what, man, these fans were – it's it's going to make three years this year, and these fans have been going at it. I mean, going at it on, you know, contributing to do billboards on Times Square, uh, airplanes with the little flag on saying release the Snyder Cut. They, they've been doing everything that they can to get this thing out there somehow. And it got to the ears of the executives, and the executives listened. And what they're saying, the news that's going around now is that, yeah, they called Zack Snyder. And they wanted to ask him about what's going on. and and They wanted to see if it was actually real. Yeah, and our last episode, we did talk about this private screening um, that Zack Snyder did for the executives at Warner Bros. And it seems like it's true. They called him. They wanted to, I guess, discuss things and try to figure out how much they can do here. And it's going to be released on HBO Max, which what well, we talked about last episode, it makes perfect sense. Um, I This is a huge, before we get into anything else, this is a huge win for the fans. I don't, I don't care what these haters say, that these people that are upset. Now you have the director of the Ghostbusters reboot saying, oh, well, I have a cut that's three hours. Uh, of the that reboot of Ghostbusters that just bombed. Yeah, but that's terrifying. David Ayer yeah, that's is terrifying. talking about his Joker with Jared Leto, how he has a cut as well, and everybody's like, "Yeah, that's not gonna happen. It's not how this works." Because those movies, at the end of the day, were their that, vision. That, and that, that was that's their vision. Your fault. That's yeah, just your fault. If you wanted to cut out Joker, that was your fault. Ghostbusters. That was just your abomination. your movie was bad anyway. <laughs> yeah. If there's a three hour cut, I don't think that's gonna help you. This is an actual cut that's so different from the original version of the, the shit show that we got of justice league when it came out two years Hello? ago it wasn't his vision at all the cinematographer cried yeah. when he saw it because he was felt so bad for Zack snyder like the mustache thing everything was... was just a mess there's literally another version of this movie out there and yeah. Zack snyder has it and it, you know it, i think this is a huge win for the fans because they really did i mean that's just a lot of support for Zack snyder you know, and Zack Snyder, it, I'm happy for him that he's gonna at least, whether it's good, whether it's yeah, bad, it, whatever it, it is, great, it could be really shitty, whatever it whatever. is. But as long as he gets his chance to show his vision of how he wanted the story to play out, because you know what, he did Man of Steel, he did Batman v Superman, 
And you know what? At least we get to see what he wanted to do with Justice League. Because people think, oh, why would I want to see a longer version of what this movie was? And it's not that. This is a whole different yeah. story. Yeah. They they completely changed the story in this. And he's been releasing pictures, concepts, arts. And he says it like uh, in the article, he said that one-fourth of what you see in the Justice League movie is his. One-fourth of what we saw in theaters. It's nothing. Which is nothing. And you know, I have here what they were. They're giving, and this is this is where I was shocked by that. We were actually like wrong about. I didn't think Warner Bros. was going to invest any more money into this. I yeah. thought they were just going to release it. But they're giving him twenty plus twenty million. to thirty million dollars to score the film, edit it, add, add new and fix adding visual effects. yeah, uh, fixing and adding new visual effects. And there's rumor of some sort of photography in there principal photography some sort of but i don't think that's true because no, ben affleck i don't think he wants to go they're back. not going to get anyone back but what what it's saying here is re-editing re-editing the film scoring new music that's to show you how different this movie is that all this needs to be completely redone music editing uh adding and uh new visual effects and finishing whatever he had left uh around 20 to 30 million dollars so they're actually investing into this. And I, it's a smart move for Warner Brothers because now that's going to be the big thing for HBO Max. People are going to want to go. This thing is supposedly, they're saying, four hours long. Could be longer. So they're, they're between releasing it, the four-hour cut, or splitting I it into six episodes. I, I think that's cut. a bad move, uh, doing it in epis episodic form. It's going to ruin the flow. Because what if the first two episodes aren't that great? People are going to start hating. You know, shows just, it's very, if something's meant to be a movie, release it as a movie, you know? Yeah, I really hope it's a movie format because a show, um, it, it won't work. It's you don't want to make these fans that have been waiting for years already fighting for this thing to wait and watch whatever the case, maybe 30-minute episodes every week. That's I, I get why... The company would do that from a business yeah, perspective. The, it but, keeps the subscribers longer. We, we've been waiting long enough. But it's not fair, you know. Um, I it's very interesting. A movie w would just be better because you see the whole flow. That's of it. The film. Yeah, because if you know how episodes show work, is different. Because you know the first two could be a little rough, and then people are gonna start hating on it, and, and then hating on it, and then you know. it's better just to watch it all at once. This thing has been going around for too long. We sat through the Irishman. I can sit through the yeah. The Irishman is three and a half hours long, you know. Uh, but again, and that's and that's just dialogue. There's not like there's not really action in it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like with Justice League, there's gonna be action. So you, you yeah, kind of, like, I'm, like, I'm, I mean, I, I'm surprised they're giving him money for v VFX everything. Yeah, they're letting because people thought they're doing reshoots. They're not doing reshoots. No, there's no way Ben Affleck wouldn't come back and no, no, but like there'll be more money because you have to pay Henry Cavill. Yeah. Then you that's, have to pay that's ben production. Affleck. That's sets. That's no. That's not, that's definitely not gonna happen. Yeah, that's already. That's yeah. a lot of money. That's had. He was already million. pretty much done. Yeah. And so Josh oh, no, Whedon came. I think came they're in. coming in to, to record dialogue. Yeah, that's what they're. Yeah, to record uh, dialogue. Some actors are coming. So that's not a big deal. Which I don't know how that works, but they just over some CG stuff maybe or you know minor stuff, and you know. Whether this is good or bad or not, I'm just glad that at least we're he's going to be able to at least show his vision of what he wanted. Because that like, sucks. That sucks. He, he had, Supposedly, he said that he, he never saw the final movie. He, he didn't see the Justice League that we saw. He refused to see it. I don't blame him. Because it's so different. It's so different. And, you know, I'm glad that he at least gets a chance to show his that's vision. A, that's the thing everyone hates about. Oh, why does he get a second chance? Because he, he... It's oh, not a second he, chance. They screwed him over. Oh, know, I'm really happy for him. Um, the man, I'll tell you what, the fans, they were persistent, man. When people were saying, no, it's not real, this is bullshit, yeah, and, and for they the, kept on. And for the for this cut that they're, they're doing, there's, there's going to be no CGI Superman face. The mustache. Yeah. Now, the thing is... What now? You know, when it comes I have, out. I have a feeling that they're doing this, and I think something happens with Superman in that movie that's going to want to bring Henry Cavill back. Because let's say thing. this is where it gets tricky. Yeah, because Henry Cavill, he can keep yeah, being because, Superman. Because and I think he to, is. He wants to come back. Because he, he showed up back. on that live stream. He was part of the announcement. He wouldn't do that if he knew he wasn't coming back. I think they started having some meetings. He wants to Zack Snyder, back. Henry Cavill. And I think he's going to come back as Superman. Because we would love to see he's him and Shazam, 
Black Adam when The Rock comes in. That's a great... And I think he wouldn't do this if he knew he wasn't coming back. He'll be like, F you guys, I'm done. So I think I think he is going to come back. Now, what happens if Justice League, this movie... If it sucks. No, no, if it sucks, you know that they're... Okay, well, we gave it to you guys. But if it's good, if fans like it, if people, it's a hit, let's say, what now? You're not going to continue that version because you already have Robert Pattinson playing Batman now that's coming out well, next they, year. They, they have, luckily, Flash... So he can mess with that type of stuff. But he's gonna have to be recasted. Yeah, which is fine. He got accused. Uh, well, no, no he's, he's, accused, he's he he saw there's video. there's video of him choking a woman. So that's not gonna work out well for him. Yeah. Um. Especially. But with Batman, you know, Ben Affleck's not coming back. He's already there's already a new Batman. You're not gonna have two Batmans. And Superman, we can bring back. Everybody else is fine. But I don't think they're gonna continue. This I think this is just like that. We, just, we have to wait and see what this is. Do. A big help for HBO Max. I think they're looking at it as look, look. There's clearly people who want to see this. Let's just give them this. But now it's how far does this go? What if it is great? What is what is Warner Brothers gonna want to? They're now they're stuck because what if it's great and now they're like shit. What do we? We can't continue this. This is done. They no. could. Well, because Shazam does mention both of them. But there's no more Batman. Like, we have... That's it. Like, there's no chance of bringing back Ben Affleck because you just did a... There's a whole new, whole new Batman movie coming out now. They kind of... They jumped on that now. So... And you're not going to have two Batmans. There's, there's just no way. Um, so that's where I'm kind of, you know... That's what I'm interested to see on what happens here. But I'm, you know... I'm all for the Snyder Cut. I'm glad it's happening. He deserves that because, God, the movie was terrible. And... For all those people hating, and because there are people hating for whatever the reason, they're just not happy that this is happening, and they're like, "Oh, toxic fans, the entitlements." Like, dude, these are just passionate fans about for Zack Snyder. But you know what's funny? And they, it's weird how they knew. Like, this is not this is not his version. And you know, it started becoming more obvious when he stepped down. Joss Whedon came in, and when you watch the movie, it just looks incomplete. It's the cool. mustache scenario, a lot of scenes in that movie, the CG, the the green screen he, he is so to obvious. It, he tried to make it more Avengers like. And it was rushed. They're like, fuck, we got to do some. And the mo- it's a whole different movie. It's a whole hey, different movie. Like, you can and that's tell not like, fair. Like with the color palettes. Like, like it looks weird. Like it just looks Everything, weird. you know? And, and I think the big uh, was the, the cyborg actor. He, like he, he, was, he was cut out completely. He, had a, he actually has a really big role in Justice League. And it's like a four hour cut. You know what I mean? So that's why I, I – it's a big win because now, yeah, Cyborg gets that chance because a lot of people I, – I didn't – he had nothing to do. He was just there. You know, we get to see it more. It's going to be – it's just his and, original and, vision. And you're you're going to see the black Superman outfit. Yeah, he that's the that thing. Back. He has a whole He has a whole other thing. He has a whole other thing. Uh, there's a whole different story here, you know, and – I am happy, you know, the fans, they did it. Uh, it's crazy how... I don't care if it sucks or if it's great. At least... This all started at least from... we got to see it. It all started from a hashtag. It started with a hashtag. Just release the Snyder Cut. And yes, there's people back and forth. Well, if they have to give them money, then technically it's not really complete. There yeah, is wait, no wait, Snyder... Wait, the Jeremy Jans Yeah. That perfect. That was so perfect. The way because, the, well, then, if, it's, if they have to finish it, then that doesn't mean that it's technically real. And it's like, no, it's real. It just needs to be finished. It's just like this back and forth. It's like, dude, it's clearly there. The shoot... The sh- it's done filming. Obviously, they cut it midway. They cut it during post-production when Zack Snyder stepped out. And that's not cool because when he stepped out, you know, he had a family tragedy and everything. He stepped out. And they completely butchered his vision. Whether that vision would have been good or bad, we don't know. There are there was all reports saying that he learned from Batman v Superman, and they were actually applying from what the fans were saying about the criticism of Batman v, v Superman, how it was too dark, too serious, and he was trying to make it keep it dark, but also he was more like he lighter. was adding he got those criticisms and he was applying it to Justice League. And just I'm glad that we get to see that chance for him, you know, and. So Warner Bros. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Good job to the fans. Man, they really... And you know what? Just literally enjoy it. Let the hate... Because, dude, the haters are mad. They're like, oh, whoa, whoa, the toxic fan. You you can't compare these type of fans, like passionate fans, 
who don't attack anyone. They just knew this is not Zack Snyder's version. He deserves his version. 